Smith had two marmoset monkeys for six short months before they both suddenly died. Not a pretty picture, and probably not what most pet owners have in mind when they take this cute little marmoset monkey into their home. What normally starts out as an exciting new relationship with this exotic creature often ends in tragedy. They are not, they are really not pets. That, that, is, that is the bottom line. They're not pets. The wild animals, we can't rehabilitate them back into the wild uh, for, for obvious reasons, but definitely for sure they should not be considered as pets. Lindy McLeod has set up a sanctuary for marmoset monkeys at her Pretoria home. She bought one for herself as a pet six years ago. Actually, I was caught in the same trap as so many people that were caught, and that is, I uh, decided to go for a while for companionship for myself. And I think a lot of people do that. You know, they're small, they're cute, until the one day they turn, they become sexually mature and they suddenly be sure they're cute. Most hundred monkeys like these have behavioral problems by the time that they reach maturity. At around 18 months, they become unpredictable and sometimes even aggressive. Most owners do not know how to handle these problem monkeys and sometimes they get sent from one home to the other. The lucky ones end up at places like the provides a safe place for monkeys who cannot be cared for in a domestic environment because of behavioral problems. The, the balaclava is to protect my ears um, because Gizmo's very... At the moment she houses around 20 monkeys. She believes there are about 6,000 hand-reared marmosets in the country and most of those will turn on their owners at some point. Tina Kutsia approached Wendy for help with her pet Minky two years ago. No, Minky doesn't want bananas. When she turned on me that first time, I cried. I cried like a baby and I went to, to, to Wendy and I said to her, Wendy, what is wrong with my monkey? And she, she got mad. Maybe she's fallen, she hit her head and she's got something wrong with, you know, something wrong now. Wendy could only suggest that Minky, who once went everywhere with Tina, be confined to a cage. It's, it's actually broken my heart because I can't, I can't cuddle her, I can't hold her, I can't kiss her anymore. She has to stay in the cage and I have to stroke her through the cage. In fact, it's not Tina, but Minky who is safest locked away. Mama Zets have no immunity to the human herpes virus, and a kiss and a cuddle could be the kiss of death. Minky. Contracting of herpes is quite sad, simply because it comes from humans. Uh, humans with, with fever blisters, um, in fact, every human um, has the potential to, to give them the herpes virus. Dr. Steve from the space specializes in the treatment of exotic animals at Honest of Work Veterinary Clinic in Pretoria. He regularly treats hand-reared marmosets with herpes. What is the prognosis once the monkey has contracted herpes? The prognosis is grave, uh, basically very poor and you can expect um, most of them to die. The virus spreads to the liver and kidneys, and eventually to the brain. What you will see is the, is the brain infection. Um, that's because you will see convulsions, seizures, um, and it's very sad to, to actually uh, witness it. Wendy filmed this monkey through its last few days. She has for despair nurse at least four dying monkeys each month. You see the, the pain, the, the, the seizures that they go through, um, I just, I, it was very, very upsetting. This is how unwittingly so many Marmoset owners love their monkeys to death. Are you going to be able to do this so much for the European Union? No. I was wondering if that's a very good thing to do. I was just told, uh, well, here's the monkey. Thank you for the money. And I went. While Tina's pet now lives with the compromise of a cage, Susan's so two monkeys didn't get that chance. They died within days of each other. Here, the more healthy male comforts the dying female. The licking movements are a reaction to blisters and sores in his mouth. He says on the way here, the office is good. Come. He wrote any fan I know and he wrote sick. Do you believe that there is a risk of an epidemic on our hands? If people are not careful, yes, absolutely. Wendy and Dr. Fondespay believe that these exotic monkeys, like any other wild animal, should be protected by law. 
as they are in other countries. Uh, the acts overseas uh, don't allow for a lot of the people there to keep them. Do you believe that should happen here? I believe it, it needs to be strictly controlled, simply because everybody cannot have a monkey. It's, it's a very specialised um, animal to keep. Well, time's over. Meet local heroes.